contained in this box are toenails that I ordered off of Amazon. Not human ones. God, that would be disgusting. Please don't click off this video. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. You can see off to my left, Cakes the Cat Loaf will be joining as co-host today. And this is a highly requested video. It's answering a question I actually don't know the answer to yet, and that is, can I paint my prosthetic foot's toenails? I have been an amputee for three years now. You would have thought that I would have answered this question by now, but to be entirely honest with you, I have been terrified to paint them because I don't get more of these. Like coming by these is not something insurance just readily pays for. So if I make it look horrible, I am stuck with a horrible looking foot for the foreseeable future. And I'm already an amputee with a plastic foot, so don't let me live with the shame of a badly painted toenails as well. Technically, I know that I am able to do this, but my concern is that it's gonna leave a stain, especially if I use darker colors, which is why we have two methods. Method A, my previous prosthetic foot that has a hole in the toe that now matches the hole in my current foot's toe. I don't need this anymore. If it looks terrible, I can chuck it. But also I did order toenails off of Amazon. This is by far the weirdest internet search I think I have ever typed into a search bar. Delightful. So if this polish does stain or look bad in any way, we've got option two. Almost. I forgot the toenail remover. Toenail polish remover. That's what it is. All right. So we're going to start by putting a towel down and painting the disembodied foot. It's time. But before we dive in, a big thank you to our sponsor, Ana Luisa Jewelry. You guys have heard me talk about this company quite a few times, actually. They are a sustainable carbon neutral company that I absolutely love working with that produces a gorgeous jewelry, as you can see here. My favorite thing that they sent me was this. I've never worn like an ear cuff before, but there's something about it that makes me feel like a beautiful elven princess. And and as a Lord of the Rings nerd, that's all I ever wanted to be. In addition to the pretty elven earring cuff, here are a few other pieces that they sent me this month. One thing I love about Ana Luisa is they're always adding new styles and have a lot of different styles. So if I feel like having a very reserved kind of day, I might go with a pair like this. If I'm feeling more of a statement piece with some more colors, check this out. I actually love this pattern and design. And here's the thing that I have discovered over the past year, which is one of the reasons why I've really loved partnering with Ana Luisa. Uh, as someone who deals with chronic pain and chronic illness, I have a limited amount of energy. Finding simple things that make me feel good about myself and my body, just like as a little boost in the day has become really important to me. And I found that jewelry is one of those things for me. I'm really like almost always wearing it, even on days where there's a migraine brewing or my leg is really giving me trouble. It just feels really nice, looks really nice and makes me feel a little bit better. So as we head into this Valentine's Day season, if you want to give yourself a little self-love present of something sparkly and beautiful, or if there's someone in your life who appreciates jewelry like this, check out the link in my description down below. They're running a buy one, get one 40% off sale which is really fantastic for their pieces. Big thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring. Check out that link in the description. I highly recommend them. I honestly wear them in just about every single video, though I am not sponsored to do that. I just like them. But without further ado, let's do this. I kinda like this color. It's like a super dark purpley pink. I should probably like get the dog hair off of it first. I have too many dogs. One of the issues with painting prosthetic toenails is like there's not a nail that comes out at all, right? It's just the rubber. So I'm hoping that I'm faking you all out. But I woke up this morning feeling quite unwell. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through the day. I'm gonna do it. So I took a shower. I did my makeup. The reason I'm telling you this is because if I seem a little out of it, I have got one heck of a sore throat, a little baby cough, a headache, and I just, I just feel run down. So I am currently separated from people, quarantined to make sure it isn't you know what. And I was gonna take the day off to rest, but then I did my makeup just to kind of have some fun, and I love the way it turned out. But I liked it so much, I wanted to get in front of a camera, and so we're gonna do this, and then I'm gonna take a nap for like six hours. I think we're off to a good start there. Check. That out. No! Okay, so this is the first problem I'm running into. Smudged a little bit right uh, on that toe there. I don't know if that's gonna come off. So the other obvious option I would have to paint my current prosthetic foot would be to just pick a color and stick with it, right? Like just pick a color. I'm gonna paint my toenails that color and they're always gonna be that color. But the problem is I have these foot shells for sometimes like a year or more. I just don't want it to always be the same one. So I'd rather have nothing. The pinky toe toenail is so tiny. All right, that doesn't look terrible, right? Like like if you look up close, there are definitely some mistakes, but all in all, looks all right. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna try to take it off and see if it actually removes. We're never, ever gonna run out of toenails. Yeah, I think I have enough to make a few mistakes. Safety first. You know, gotta protect the sweatsuit pants that I got for $10 from Target. I'm gonna paint the fake toenail, because I bet there's a way that I could like stick them on. Moment of truth. Will this come off? I have been told that this does not damage prosthetic feet, right? Gotta see for myself before I'm willing to try it. This is not a good sign. This little toes there. Let's keep going and just see. No, I am so glad that I gave this a test run first. 
It, okay, let's finish it. it. This looks awful. Absolutely awful. Maybe I just need to scrub it more. Never, never, never. Look at this. Here, I'm gonna adjust the lighting so you, you guys can see this. Look how bad. I've got like pink stained toes. Bringing shame upon my family. It really doesn't look good. I think the only hope for me left is the fake nails. All right, now I just gotta let these five little well, toenail piggies dry. I did not think through how to attach the nails temporarily. I could use super glue. Then I would have fake toenails on my prosthetic foot forever. All right, let's try it. Super glue, toenail clippers. I mean, I, I see possibilities here. Not great ones, but possibilities. What am I gonna do with the rest of these though? Anyone need any toenails? Like not in a weird way? Let me know. I should probably like cut them to measure now. I don't know that, I'm not sure that I really want to super glue this onto my toe forever, but we're gonna do it and see how it goes. <laughs> I think that looks about as realistic as the rest of the foot, wouldn't you say? Ah, too much, too much super glue, guys. Ooh, this is definitely never coming off. All right, that's all right. Stay on there. This is your home now. Stay on there. The problem is that the, the toenails are like curved and the foot is not. All right, it's time for the uh, the grand reveal, my friends. Get off of here, dog hair. You're not welcome. This this is our this is our final product. Please don't be scared. I promise you it won't hurt you. I don't know if you can like see the, the toenails coming out the other side, which is kind of freaky. They're very sharp. I could file them down. Um, I feel like on camera, you might not be catching the the full image of what this looks like, but in real life, it does not look good. And I also don't think I could get these off without leaving residue. Even if I use something like nail glue, right? I just, it, I don't think that would look fantastic. And not that my foot is looking that fantastic anyways, but you gotta have standards somewhere. So I'll consider this a successful experiment today because we learned some things. We learned that when you order toenails, they come in an ungodly amount. And we confirmed my suspicion that I will never be painting whatever prosthetic foot I am actually using. Unless I or you can think of a way to make this experiment go better. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comment section down below. I will be reading, I am interested. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today during this process. A big thank you again to my delightful sponsor, Ana Luisa Jewelry. Check out that link in the description to check them out. By doing that, not only are you helping to support this channel, but you're also supporting a company I very much believe in and genuinely wear pretty close to every gosh darn day. To you watching this video right now, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today and little cakes. You couldn't be anywhere else in the world doing anything else, but you chose to hang out with us for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. This was a really fun and silly video and I like those if you have any other similar ideas for the future, leave them down below. But with that being said, I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky all about it. Down the river high tide flows around it. Through the whispers of pines I hear them sing. The more you love, the more you live.